What, you gonna feel me eating too? Yeah, I eat. I'm a big boy. That's why I don't lose my love handles. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the whore house. This is my little whore house, you know. This is why all the whores come and work when I'm not here. Yes. It's not the prettiest, but it's home. Thank you. Yes. Many things has happened here. Many, many nasty, freaky, freaky, freaky stuff. This bed has come through it. It's had a lot of escorts on this bed. Yes. Hi. <laughs> um, I was going to Europe. Clients was flying me to Europe and I just put in an application for Tim Tales and he responded and said he wanted to use me. I said, okay. And that's how I did it. I have been asked a couple of times over the years, but I just wasn't ready for it yet. So this time I was like, okay, sure, I'll do it. And he flew me to Barcelona while I was in Switzerland. And that's how I did my first scene. I don't remember that guy's name though. What was my first co star name? That don't matter. I know he was Brazilian. <laughs> That's all I remember, he was Brazilian. I remember my second co-star because that was still to this day my favorite scene of all scenes. And I still talk to him. Tony Atzel, this is a French boy. They flew him in just to shoot and he had to turn around and fly right back to Paris because he had to dance that night. It was so much fun, it was crazy. Yeah, we connected very well. Yeah. I can't wait to see him when I go back. Anyway, next question. I think people take, uh, cause it's gotta be some humorous to it, is porn. Porn is funny. If you really sit back and really look at it, it's kinda funny. You know, overacting, over, I mean, not all companies, but some companies, it's like, you really jumping onto this? They're making so much noise and you know in real life that's not really what's be happening. I don't know. I, I just find it fascinating. I think every set should have a good time. Right? I don't know. That's just me. The past couple months when I've been filming, like if I'm with someone else and they're like rimming a guy or I'm rimming it, I have been dying to say, mmm. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> so I got to do it. I was doing a three way and the guy was rimming him. And I said, and as he was in it, I was like, yeah, it tastes good, don't it? He was like, yeah, that tastes real good. I was like, tastes like chicken, don't it? <laughs> oh, classic, classic. It was amazing. So, yeah. I'm stupid on set. I don't really see a difference. I feel like it's still the same. You know, I just do porn. That's, that's just it. I, it's just part of my life. But I don't, I don't see that much change at all, except like maybe sometimes people recognize me at the most oddest time. Like outside, I was going to the gym <laughs> and the ice cream truck man like just stops and blows his horn. And I was like, hmm? He was like, I love your work. Keep up the good job. I was like, ooh, the ice cream man. That's <laughs> my work. Now I can get some free ice cream. <laughs> that was interesting, but yeah, it hasn't been any major difference at all. At least for me, I guess because I'm not a porn star yet. You know, I'm not an A-lister yet. Maybe then it'll be a difference. Maybe people will treat me different. <laughs> no.
Well, before porn, I was doing escorting anyway. So, I mean, it goes hand in hand. Um, I've always been a, yeah, I've always been kind of a sexual active person, but I think people get confused when they see me in porn and they just think that I'm just this big horny person that's looking to fuck every single person who hits me up. And no, <laughs> just like I don't film with every single guy that they want to put me with. There, I do say no to some guys. If I'm just not into them, that's not into them. So yeah, I think that's, enough, that's one thing that gets confused with people when they see me online or see me in a club they think that just because I do porn and I escort that I'm just looking to fuck everybody and I'm not you know I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm more picky than that you know mm. sadly no no one wants me I live the single life the lonely life the side of the bed it has not been taken yet little spots on it so somebody's been in it but <laughs> but they don't stay in it <laughs> so um no um i meet guys through my travels and stuff like that to hang out with and you know talk to when sometimes i get to that point where it could be something but the distance is an issue um or maybe what i do for a living becomes an issue or you know, they have issues, you know, it's, you know, it's this life. I always take it, I just say it's this, when it's meant for me to have one, one will come around. If not, it's okay. My life is not, it's not going to end because I'm not in a relationship. So, yeah. Going to the face. I have a lot more. They're in another closet. It, it's. It, I, I'm have to buy another one of those shoe things. I don't know. I don't really have favorites. I like these. I don't know why. They shiny. You know, they look cute. Um, these are most. These are now my most expensive shoes that I have. My Adidas. Yeah, and and my Alexander McQueen. I love Adidas. I'm an Adidas head. I mean, I'll do some Nikes here and there, but I've rarely ever wear them. So, these are yeah, some of my favorites. The things that do. Some of them I'm gonna get rid of and then re redo. Yeah, I'm not taking you to the closet. There's a lot more in the, in the back closet. No, I'm not opening that closet. It's bad. And then when it comes to underwear, like I said, just bought a whole bunch of new underwear. So this is all my underwear. I have to return these. They're too big. And this is it. I, you know, these are my go-go dancing things actually. When I dance, because it's breathable and my dick can get hard and it stretches. Yeah. You know. Two hundred dollars worth of underwear. That's how much I paid. And I don't regret it. Yeah, this is it. Goes on and on and on. Mm. I think I just let go of my favorite pair actually because they I, I didn't stretch them out. <laughs> I wore them too long. Um right now, actually I kinda like these for dancing wise. I have them in blue too. Um they're comfortable, they fit good. You want me to try them on? Oh my God, you're asking so much. I wasn't prepared. I hope I'm not ashy in certain spots. You know, 